What did you think of SmackDown this week? Well, I mean, there was... It was just because the week before. <laughs> That's for sure. Um... You know, it's it's perhaps one, you can explain to me what in God's name is going on with the Mysterio family. Oh dear God, I cannot. I mean, that was that was beyond annoying. That was like let I'm me, watching. This. Let me read this to everybody in case you didn't see the match because this literally it's exactly what happened. It's Baron Corbin versus Buddy Murphy. This is legitimately. I'm not making up this play by play. Ray tries to distract Baron. No, Dominic was first. Dominic tries to distract him. Ray tries to distract yes. him. Aaliyah tries to distract him. Corbin well, Aaliyah, gets the Aaliyah, heat. Aaliyah, with... Aaliyah, didn't, Aaliyah didn't really try to distract him. No, just... he tried to... He, he, Baron Corbin no. goes to slide out of the ring and run around the post to get back in. And right, she no, he... literally stopped him. She got in front of him to well, prevent she was in, him. She was, she, was in, she was in front of him. So, But it wasn't like Ray and Dominic who were the entire match she over She interfered. And over. She didn't interfere. She was standing in the wrong place. But Ray and Dominic were jumping on the apron, distracting him the whole match over and over again. It's not like they did it once. That was the story of the entire match. And think about this. Okay. And it's a four-minute match. So it's not like it's like a 15-minute match and they each do it once. It's a four-minute match and they both do it over and over and over again. Well, I counted it. Nine times somebody attempted to interfere or distract Baron Corbin in this match. In a four-minute match. Nine times. It was, I, I mean, it was mind-boggling watching it. I mean, it's like how Baron, you know, Baron Corbin's practically the baby face here. Buddy Murphy is in no way, shape, or form working as a baby face, even though he's supposed to be the baby face. Um, I mean... Dominic, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, even Ray, every one of them, every one of them. The only one, the only one who who didn't come off like a heel was uh, Aaliyah, and she was sort of, and you could you could make the case she did too. She prevented him from doing one of his main moves. Yeah, but that was it. wasn't as bad as with Ray and Dominic. Plus, you know, it's like, but the whole thing it, it was ridiculous. Um, and what was most ridiculous about it is, let's say that this was the Seth Rollins match, where Seth Rollins tried to take out Rey Mysterio's eye, and he screwed with the family, and he tried to say that Dominic was adopted, all that. Okay, fine, the whole family screws the guy. Dude, Baron Corbin didn't do anything. He well, walked he up did, to him he, during an interview, he, and he, he talked he did, a little bit of trash. He did He did, He did. did try to make fun of him during the, uh, the interview. Yeah, but, but like nine times. It wasn't even like something was going wrong with Murphy, where they, had to, they were just jumping up there to, well, every to time, distract the guy. Well, it's every time Baron Corbin got, got offense, that's when they jumped up. When, when Murphy, Murphy never got any offense unless the guy was distracted first. That's what made it so bad. And then Murphy wins, and then Baron Corbin challenges him to a rematch, and, you know, wants... You know, basically, he didn't even say don't bring them. I think, like, next week he's going to bring, like, you know, Dolph Ziggler and Root or whoever else, you know. He goes, you guys are spineless cowards. I want a rematch, and next week I'm going to be prepared. And I thought, you're supposed to be a heel? I'm on your side, dude. Well, I could never be on Corbin's side, but that's a different story. But but it was, was, you know, what can I say? It was the worst. It was the the, the worst. um, I don't know how it happens. I don't know. I mean, I, I I could not explain it at all. I mean, it was so overt. Um, but I mean, the whole thing—it's like, you know, even even when like you know, SmackDown has been a good show, but it's it's like it's still one of those things where I mean, they just do everything at the last minute. They have no idea, you know, it's like no idea where they're going. You know, they'll they'll you know bring somebody up, then they'll or, or you know they'll push somebody, and then they'll just forget about it. And Lars. Lars has vanished off the face Lars of the earth. Lars is off the face of the earth. Lars is off the face of the earth, yeah. Vince is just, you know, maybe if somebody reminded Vince that he was uh, there and they pushed him, maybe Vince would write him in. You know, Vince, they, they rewrote the show again, but they do that every week. I mean, it's like, it's funny because somebody had mentioned to me Friday, Friday morning, Vince isn't here, Vince is coming at 1230, um, you know, and, um, you know. And no one knows what to do until Vince gets there, right? Okay. So I ask somebody and go, like, is this true? And it's like, well, it's true, but that's every, like, like it's a complete state of disarray. And it's like, well, it's true, but every Friday is like this. This is no different from any other Friday. I mean, it is, yes, of course, it's a state of disarray, but it's always a state of disarray. It's just, that's what Friday is. I mean, he just shows up when he shows up and... You know, they change everything. And so, so the deal, the deal with, with, um, 
the title situation now. It's going to be Kevin Owens, which you could tell from watching the show that that's, that's totally different. fine. This stuff with Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns and Jey Uso, that was the highlight of the show by leaps and bounds. Yeah. Well, yeah, the yeah. Bri- the Daniel Bryan and, and Sami Zayn match was. Oh, yeah. The that match was a great was match. Good. The but finish what, was wacky, but. But what a terrible finish. Yes. I mean, so 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 anyway, um, and, and, and just think about. They did that finish, and Daniel Bryan's the guy who's um, the next, who's, who's at, at least for right now, is like this means anything. For right now, he's scheduled to face Roman Reigns at uh, Royal Rumble. But, I mean, God knows. I'm sure in can... Vince's mind, it's like, fuck, the Royal Rumble's in the middle of January. Like, it doesn't matter what we do with this guy in November. Like, well, in we'll theory, get through TLC, it... and then we'll build the guy up. In theory, it should, but whatever. I mean, they don't, I don't, you know, I mean, by by the time, by the time they get there, I could easily, I mean, the one thing is, is that, like, when it comes to Daniel Bryan, a lot of what happens with him is his own doing, because, um, you know, he's on creative and everything, and he's, I'm sure, like, very much thinking how he wants it done, so... But I mean, I, I, you know, and again, that this had happened before too. I mean, there were there were periods where, a couple of years ago, when they were going to do the big Roman Reigns Daniel Bryan program, that they never got to. I mean, it just never ended up that way. They they brought in uh, was it Eric Rowan for the program, and then they just never even got to Daniel Bryan. So, like I, you know, this could happen again. Um, but did you see the the talking smack thing with um, Paul Heyman and Kevin Owens? No. It was really good, really, really good. Um, so, I mean, it was just it. It, it basically. Well, I hope they put it on television then. Uh, I'm sure they won't. Um, Not but, the same thing, but I mean, there better be there better be plenty of by play with Roman and Kevin Owens and Paul Heyman leading in TLC because, like, Kevin Owens is a great talker. This Roman Reigns character is fantastic. Paul's great. I mean, this is going to be probably the best thing on SmackDown until TLC. Uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there going to be? Seth Rollins is gone. The Mysterio family is completely out of whack. Those were the people who were in, and, and Sasha Banks and Carmella. I mean, that's that's a big step down from what they were doing. So yeah, I mean, Roman Reigns is going. Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens are going to be the whole show, pretty much. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.